Hi, I'm Emil. And I'm Needy. And we're going to teach you how to create a digital book jacket. So first you need to click create and then click on drawing. Then you just wait for it to load. Always remember to title your drawing so that it will be easier for you to find it later. We'll name this one Dog Song. That's a book that I read not so long ago. So what you first want to do is change the background color. So you right click and then uh, click uh, go to background and then you'll see like different types of colors. So we and if you want more colors you can click on custom. So maybe you can use mm, blue. There we go. And then you want to make a spine, of course. So you click Insert Shape and a Rectangle. Then you size it. So you know it's a reasonable size. And as you can see, these red lines that appear help you center it and make it fit exactly in two. So as you see, these red lines, they appear to um, help you. So there we go. And you can change the color of this too, if you want to, but we can keep it this color for now. Or change it. Then you want to give like your book jacket a title. You can do that by clicking insert and then word art. So here we're just going to do dog song and then click oh yeah here space and enter then you get the title here there and here if you want to insert multiple lines you can then then you can change the title's font by clicking on font and then you can like i will choose bangers so it's like then you like make the title, the size to fit the page. And then you can also change the color. So maybe you can make this, actually we can keep it this color. And you can also change the outline, maybe to white. Or let's just click keep black. Yeah, we can keep it like that. Every book cover needs an image, so we can add an image on this book cover too by clicking insert and image then you go on search and then here you can choose the different things you want to search if you want to search with life google is usually the best one for new pictures so then you search because dog song is about uh, sledding dog so we could search just maybe husky that kind of relate to the theme then you can choose a picture, like I will choose uh, this one, and then select. You just wait for it to, there we go. And then it's, you just make it smaller, you know, make it fit on the page, make it fit nicely. There you have it fit. And you might want to keep space too, because you're going to have to put the author too. So there you go. And the next thing you want to do is add a text box so you can write the author. So you set up, place the text box where, place the text box wherever you want it. So I'll place it here and then you can type. Uh, it's by Gary Paulson. And then you want to make that a reasonable size and color so it fits. So you can change the size by just like the how you normally do it. So I'll choose 24 so that it's visible. And maybe for the color, I could put green. Then you also want to have on a normal book, you um, on the spine, it also says the color. So you want to drag out a text box. And then you just write, let's see dog song there 
quickly change dog song and you want to make it big so it's going to fit on the spine so maybe size 36 then you want to put it like this so you can just drag it right onto the spine like this and you can change the font you want to keep it the same font as this cover title so it doesn't get too confusing then if you want you can like uh, resize the title so that it's big enough or make it wider and then don't forget like wh uh, where it's published like from Scholastic or etc so for that we can also use a text box and we can place it here or you can also um, just um, bring up the search bar thing and then search this book was um, this book was published by the um, What's it called? Aladdin. Or that didn't turn out so bad. So good. Adla so search Aladdin Publisher. Aladdin Publisher. And here is what you need. Because this is what, this is the company that published it. So like, see we have the image, but it's not like free to use your free to use or share so we can just like click free to use or modify but we don't see like good uh, images so we can just use a text box instead so just bring out a small text box or actually you know what let's use um a shape because then we can get the background shape so just a small rectangle and then write Aladdin, whoops, there we go, Aladdin, and then make the background white, like that, and there you kind of have your publisher thing, so you just put it there, and then on the spine, you also want to have the author, so you can just press control D that copies it so you can just turn it this way and of course you want to change the color because it's not so nice on here maybe change it to blue and then you put it here and and don't f and also don't forget to add where the publish like of where the book was published on the spine too so we can do the same thing Control D to copy it. Whoops, there. So just add a small text box. Quickly, Aladdin. And then move it onto here. And you want to flip it quickly until it's 90 degrees. Right about here. And you can put that kind of down here. And then on the back, you want to have any words it's one. So maybe you can put a big, this is what I did. I put a big rectangle, and I kind of listed three of the awards that it had won. But before you add the awards, you need to put the summary of the book. So we, uh, we, uh, Emil had already made one book jacket, so we can just copy and paste the summary instead because we don't want to waste time just writing the whole summary now. So control C and then just create a big text box right about here and then press control V. So here we have the summary and then here we can put awards. Um, as you see I have already put the awards here so we can just copy and paste this right here so copy just paste this here quickly and so you want to list maybe three or four awards it's one and if it has one um I this dog song it's won the aladdin newberry uh, award so this is something um so you can just drag it in here it's won the aladdin newberry award um so you might want to put that on the front here so if you search for that image, 
free to user share you won't get any images so you can just insert a shape circle and then make a shape circle and just type in here the Aladdin Newberry Honor. So let's quickly see it here. So Aladdin Newberry Honor. Aladdin Newberry Honor. And uh, that's only one R. Oops. And since it's not a like a, me a metal, it's just an honor. We will just leave it gray, or we can make it more gray to represent silver. And then you can, you know, change the font in here. Maybe change it to Slacky, whatever you kind of, whatever you think is nice. And then a, a normal book would have um, would have a barcode here, so you can just click insert image and then search for images bar code or if you don't get any here you can just search for it here so bar code so just wait for it to load it's a little slow right now Just, okay, there we go, free to use and share. Oh, whoops, we have to search images. So barcode, and then we can insert a barcode, maybe this one. Just says creating images. And when you have it in, just make it small, so you know it fits nicely, and then add it in there. And you also wanna have some quotes. Uh, maybe here, Dog Song uh, was a very good eye opin uh, was a very good eye opinion um, opinion uh, book. That was Scott, a teacher's opinion of the book. You can just copy this and go here. And you can insert a text box, paste, and then you want to change the color. So maybe instead of blue, white. And you want to maybe put then like the price of the book so we can just see but if there's no price we can uh, add like w uh, you can also add your opinion on the book so we can so Emil put actually this beautiful description description of all settings and characters so we can copy that and paste it and then if you want you can like resize it so that everything fits because this we kind of did this a little fast so it didn't it doesn't look very nice you want to you know take your time and so, and just lastly, you also want to add maybe a few words, kind of um, giving the author um, a little introduction on the theme. So as you see here, I put maybe coldest journey you'll ever go on. You know, kind of so the author kind of gets interested. And so when you've done that, you just have to go file publish to the web and get your embed code and paste it in on your blog and it'll look something like this. So Emil gets smartblog.weebly.com. I'm just gonna show you an example of how, how it will look on your blog. So this is my blog. And this is an example of how it looks. So we just go down a little bit. There we go. And then we can choose a category. So here, book jackets. And then if you just wait for it to load. So as we scroll down, we can see Emil's uh, book jacket. So after you get the embed code and publish to the blog, 
published to your blog, it will 